they ruined my plans for helping the people that I, that I want to help. Okay, now I can't do it. That is heartbreaking. Only on 10 News, a World War II veteran heartbroken. A thief stole $10,000 from him. The money just disappeared during a visit from a supposed re repairman. 10 News reporter Michael Chen discovered the alleged crook's sneaky tactic to distract that victim. Took part of my life. Tough emotions for World War II vet Bob Leish. He was here checking this. After a visit from a repairman. The dirty bastard. That's all I said. Led to a painful discovery. It was back in October when Leisha's air conditioner broke. After a referral, Justin Bridges, who said he was an Army veteran, showed up and fixed it. Got it working again, and he was a very pleasant person. A month ago, and then on Monday and Tuesday, Bridges turned up again with a story. They had a blow up on an air conditioner in the neighborhood. With temps heating up, he told Leish he wanted to check on the unit. The man stood at the thermostat and said he wanted to test how long it took for the air conditioner to kick on. He asked Lesh to stand outside, then keep an eye on the compressor and start counting. Leish counted to 30, and then the compressor turned on. Soon after, Bridges left. My phone's gone and I started like looking. Leisha's granddaughter noticed her iPhone was gone. I took it out. I felt it. I said the money's gone. In the bedroom, the money bag lay stuffed under his mattress, emptied of $10,000 in cash, his emergency fund for family and charities. They ruined my plans for helping people that I, that I want to help. Okay, now I can't do it. The fact that he did that to another veteran, like that... How could you do that to someone? Leish, a Marine who landed at Iwo Jima, is not used to giving up. He filed a police report. I hope the bastard goes to jail if they can prove it. That's where he belongs, so he can't do this to other people. Michael Chen, 10 News. Well, within the past few hours, Elkhorn Police told 10 News it has issued an arrest warrant for Bridges. His former boss says Bridges worked for him briefly before quitting last year. A GoFundMe for Leish has been set up. There is a link at 10news.com. Click on the red TV button.